Hello again, Ron. I have a question from a member. My left side by my two lower chakras is now vibrating. Is this a symptom of ascension or is it part, is that a part of my body changing or is it both? It's an interesting question. Not many people really feel their chakras and how they're vibrating. Um, you, you know, if you do feel that, then that's that's interesting. I would, in my own opinion, I would put that to ascension, uh, ascension symptoms. Um, the other part, the other question, or is it part of my body changing? Well, that's what the ascension symptoms are: is body changing. Um, so it, it's kind of both in in regards to the question. Um, they're activating our DNA which we have not, uh, there's 10 strands of the 12 strands that uh, were not activated. They call them junk DNA, the scientists did, because there was they couldn't figure out what they're for. Um, each DNA has a, uh, a certain description. And the two that were left, one is the reproduction and one is the love quotient. Without those two, we don't have a species. We can't we can't survive without love. And the the, the human body is pure love. And so uh, it it has to have those changes take place for us to do that. So how far along on the symptoms or, or on the trail of uh, ascension um, do all of these things start taking place it's you know from my understanding and from my inquiries I've already ascended before I've gone through the ascension process in previous lives um, you know somebody says well don't you want the well yeah I guess uh, I don't, I don't really care because I've gone through it before. Well, I do care because, uh, but I don't focus on it because it's just something that I know is going to happen when it happens. And um, there's a lot of uh, joy and happiness when that takes place. Let that be so. Uh, we are changing. We're not going to stay the same. Our bodies are changing along with the earth as the earth is ascending, so we are ascending. Now, why do I say, well, we're responsible for the experiences of our life? Well, when you co create something, then you're responsible for your portion of that and you fulfill what is your responsibility. But in, a, in the co-creation process, we're all working towards the same end in this regard so that we can um, obtain the fifth dimension and, and stay with the earth as, uh, as a fifth dimensional uh, being. I'm going to call earth a being because that's what it is. And uh, we get to, to, to go with that now. Let's let's also understand that most places, most um, earths or whatever, most spheres where people live, the they don't have an atmosphere for people to live on the outside. Um, you know, I've heard that Mars has a blue sky and water and, and uh, oxygen in this, and, and they can live there, but not all of them do. And so mostly if there's a place for people to live, they live underground, uh, shielded from the, uh, from the stuff that's not there or whatever is there. Uh, so there's a lot that we don't understand, a lot that we need to assimilate into our mind. Um, and that's why it's important for us to doubt not, fear not, but be believing and all these things will work out for the best good of those who love God. Uh, if you doubt stuff, then you're just delaying your own progression. If you doubt it and dismiss it because you doubt it, 
then you've missed the opportunity to grow and develop with that kind of understanding. So the idea, doubt not, well, don't doubt it, just get in there and see what's going on. Get in there and find out for yourself. And then you can either dismiss it or, or, or not. It's up to you. But if you doubt it without getting into it, then you, you're making some, you're making, potentially making some very serious mistakes if your intentions are to ascend or your intentions are to have uh, some kind of an eternal life. Some people think that we, their life just started uh, here when they were babies. You know, eternal is backwards and forward. It's, it's not a straight line. It is a circular, a circle of life. And it, there's the ebb and flow. It goes out and it comes back in. It goes out and it comes back in. Uh, you l look at, listen to some of the teachings of uh, the masters of the Far East. They call it, or Buddhas, they, they call it uh, the in and out breath of Brahma, Brahma being God. It's an in and out breath, and it expands out, the big bang theory, and then it comes back in. Well, uh, how much time does that take? Well, whose time are you on? Are you on the earth time or some other time out there? Uh, and I, I ask that question, and nobody can give me, nobody gives me an answer for it. Whose time are we on? You know, I'm the center of my universe. I'm I'm equidistant to everything in my in my universe, and I'm standing next to somebody, and they're they're uh, they're the center of their universe. Well, that means we have two universes right next to us. I don't know. Does that make sense? Well, when you start thinking it out. You might get some wonderings in there and and, uh, and and kind of explore a little bit more. Because we don't really understand who we are. We really don't. We're, we're conditioned to believe a certain way about ourselves. But we're unlimited human beings that are gods in our own right. And we are creators. And we create things and we have free agency. So we're never punished by God for what we create, regardless of what we create. Because you can't punish somebody if you say, I give you free agency to go and create what you'd like to create. Well, I look at, I, when I'm with uh, thinking of prime creator, my father, and mother, um, I'm in an, an intelligence. And when I create, I create because that's I have the intelligence to create. That's part of my who I am. I am part of God. My intelligence is connected to God's intelligence. Therefore, I am a child of God. And I can't be anything other than part of the family of God. I call it the oneness. Okay, well, those are those are fun things to think about. So, um, I you know when our bodies change, it's it's the ascension process is the body changing to a higher dimension, and you have to be a part of that and have a desire to do that. Your intentions are necessary for you to make the changes. Your body's going to do it because you've already committed yourself to it because that's we're in a co-creation position. But a lot of things are happiness not to us, to us but for us. And we get to ascend with the earth, and that's what we're looking for. So we're changing, and we're going to continue to change. Sometimes it's going to be hard to sleep, and other times you can sleep for a long time. And uh, those are the kinds of things, the changes that take place. Just allow your body, don't judge it, just allow it to be its perfection. And it will do what is necessary for us to get to where we want to go. Okay, I took a little bit longer on that one, but hopefully that's it's okay. Next question. Thank you, Ron. Wonderful insight. We'll be right back with the next question. <laughs> 